People of YouTube, hello and welcome to Fjords, which is a game by Kyle Reimergarten. I, I hope I nailed that last name and didn't mess it up. Um, who is a second, I mean not the game, Kyle is a second grade teacher who has a child in the house now. That's basically all I know about him from a little description about um, he put about himself in one of the websites where he sells the game for $7. Uh, so it's a it's a recent thing. It just came out. The only video I found of um, Fjords is the trailer, and it features some awesome music. Part of which I think is kind of in in the game as well. You can buy also that track for like one dollar. Anyhow, uh, enough about the money. So Fjords is slightly hard to describe what it is. There's um, four buttons in the game that you can use. So and, and you can see them how the phone cleverly displays what they are. So you got left arrow, right arrow, and you walk around. And your A is um, basically all around action. It's kind of context um, sensitive. So if you're just standing around and press A, you do up, like you go up like uh, with a grape, grapple hook, I think would be the correct um, way to describe that. And then K is suicide, just kind of like in Postal 2. So that happens. That also happens when you die. Um, but as I said, A is uh, context sensitive. So if I stand next to this phone and I press A, I pick it up and it's the scientist calling uh, and you would like a pizza. So he wants us to deliver the pizza to Science Mountain. Thank you. Bye. Uh, so apparently we are a pizza delivery guy in, in this strange world. Now, it may not seem very strange yet, uh, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So these things are doors and those are computer terminals. Doors work um, just kind of like doors work. So you go, you go next to it, and you press A, and you're outside in this strange new world, um, which is quite beautiful actually. I quite enjoy the art and the, and the soundtrack and the sound effects of the game, um, which I understand is probably not everyone's um, cup of tea, but that's cool. I think it's awesome. So door, see, we, I got a, oh, I got out the door there. Um, uh, let me show you how the terminal works. Now, terminal is sort of a, a world hacking slash teleportation device. Now, uh, if you go to the terminal, press A, um, you can type stuff in there, just kind of like in an, you know, an old school MS-DOS type computer. Uh, obviously, we have no idea what to type here. So actually, the game tells you. So if you say like you go blah, 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 press enter, it says no command for that type help command or just help to see the commands. So if you type help, oh, by the way, yeah, if this, let me just stop myself here short. Um, if you want to have the, like the best possible experience of this game, then you should not watch this video at all. I mean, you're probably already late, but you know, cut the cord now, you know, just stop, pause, delete, stop, don't do it. Because this game sort of thrives on you figuring out what the hell is going on on your own. It's very similar in that sense to um, a game called Starseed Pilgrim. I hope I didn't mess up that name, which I, I made a video about that as well. And it was kind of very similar to this. It gives you a minimal idea of what exactly is going on. And then you make sense of the world. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, if you don't, you're not going to play or you don't care about spoilers, so to speak. Um, you know, please, I would love you to enjoy this video. So, help. Enter. And we have available commands, which are four, if I'm not mistaken. A set, travel, clear, and exit. Clear and exit are... Kind of clear, I think. So if I press exit, I get out of the computer. If I do you know, write clear, um, I clear the screen. Now set and travel obviously are different. So if I type help, sorry, help set, it will tell me what I can set. And the things I can set are I can, I can either be true or false. Um, so those are bombs, waterfalls, escalators, ferry, magic, ghosts, doors, and warp. Um, that to me sounds like an exciting list. I've only tried one so far. I actually didn't want to. I want to do the experience stuff here as I make this video. Um, so I only tried bombs and everything else is untried. I, I would imagine waterfalls disables waterfalls, etc. etc. Uh, travel is also interesting. So that that is the teleportation part I mentioned earlier. So if we write help travel, it will give us the places we can travel to. Uh, pizza place, which is our where we start. Alter gates is a place I'll show you. 
in a second. Um, slime shore is something I unlocked. Everything else you see is kind of as like seems like a code or coded or encoded, uh, rather. And that means uh, you haven't been there yet. So if you haven't touched that terminal yet, it's um, still locked, and you cannot get there. And the way to get there is to you know traverse the landscape while uh, using the set variable, changing the set variable so that it actually becomes traversable. And let's attempt that uh, right now. Um, I'd say we can spend about 15 minutes walking around and see where we get to. So first of all, I'll show you the basic travel. Let's, let's leave things the way they are. Um, get out of the computer, get back to this door and I'll travel to, do we already go oh, oh, to this, whatever the uh, outer gates, which is something that we uh, have already unlocked, but um, just to demonstrate how this works. So grapple hook is uh, or grapple hook is, is, is essential here. Uh, because the, our dude does not um, jump in any conventional uh, sense. You can see there's a little boat down there. So we jump into the boat and we sail to the next shore. And we kind of repeat the same same um, routine here. And as I mentioned before, I quite enjoy the way this looks. And maybe I'm just, you know, being um, sort of a retro slut in, in this case. But uh, it is it is pretty awesome. Uh, it, for some reason, it reminds me of a game um, that thing came out in 1985 or 86. So it's basically as old as I am. Um, and it's called Livingstone. I don't know if any of you played. I'm not even sure if it was for PC, but I have played it on PC, like in the 19, early 1990s. Um, it was like immensely difficult and mysterious game to me as a, like a 10 year old. Um, and for some reason, this, this seems that way, though this already makes a bit more sense um, than that one. Now, uh, so what we do here is we need to kind of jump down carefully. Oh, okay, we get we did that, and I need to move over here. Um, now this is slightly trickier. We need to make a jump to that boat, and so some precise platforming, which I am not very good at. And this is the so you see there's a computer over there, uh, and you could have we could have just traveled here by using the terminal. But I just wanted to demonstrate um, that this is possible. Um, without the terminal. So if I were to, for example, come here now and say, uh, yeah, uh, so let's type travel um, pizza place, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And we're at the pizza place. Now, if I want to get back, I can write uh, travel outer gate, if I'm not mistaken. And we're back. Right, and there's a door uh, there, which I already unlocked as well. Not the door itself, but uh, where the door goes. It takes us... So there's no way we can get out of, you know, get out this way. But, um, yet anyway. But we can walk this way. And then we end up... Where the hell are we actually? Oh, we're... Oh, right there, okay. So this is pretty easy terminal to unlock. Um, it's, not, it's not that hard to kind of get there. Uh, so what we do is come here. And then we execute a pretty tricky drop. Uh, you can also notice that the lake up there, like which is, I'll show you. So it's whoa, right there. Uh, that one also has a boat. But if you get into the boat and the waterfall kills you, water kills you in general. You're kind of not very tolerant of water for some reason. Um, but let's go to this terminal here. And then we can travel probably back to the way we came and we can try and disable waterfalls so we are at the terminal and uh, we can instead of just walking back we can just travel uh, to outer gates oh is it outer gates is that how we spell it i think so okay cool yeah All right so we're here so you can see that there's another door up there kind of in the mid middle of the screen but it's behind the waterfall so it isn't that easy to get there. So what we can do is we can access the computer and write set uh, waterfall, not goals, waterfalls F, which makes them false. Um, exit. And they disappear. Hey, so did the door. That's a bit weird. There used to be a there used to be a door there, but that also means that we can go now. 
Oh, can we get up there? Actually, we don't... I don't think we can get up there. So wait, if I just turn the waterfalls back on, the door appears? That's a bit weird. Uh, waterfalls... Sorry, set. Waterfalls, true. Oh, sorry, exit. So that door exists only while the waterfall is there. Hmm. Well, that's not very good. Okay, let's see something else then. Uh, what else was there? Uh, help. Set. Uh, we can maybe try using magic. Escalators. Uh, Wait, so I can make the doors... If I say set doors true... Exit. Okay, the doors are true. And now if I set the waterfalls to false... That means... So set waterfalls false... And exit. So that means, oh, there's still only one door. That's a bit crap. Do I still have my, okay. Oh, but there's another door underneath me now. Whoa. Haha. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, cool. Okay, so. Do I still... Okay, this turns it off. Um, there it is. So, can I... Oh, strange. Uh, okay. So, I can... Okay, there's a bit of a glitch here. So, let's, let's do that. What if I fall through here? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh! Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Um, there's a there's dudes there. That they're saying K K K K K. So wait, 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 wait. There must be must be a way out of here. So if I don't fall on the dude, same reaction. If I fall on the dude, which is what she said, same reaction. So any way I can kind of get off the screen. Now. Um. So this is basically like hell. I have to I have to die. Okay, let's what if I just press A as I land? Nothing. Okay, well what if I press K then? Okay, I come back here and life is normal again. Well that was um that was pretty cool actually. Right, let's try something else now. Let's make uh set magic magic true. Exit. Well, this is no. Oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. So magic makes you kind of float around, and oh shit! And I create doors every everywhere I jump from. So wait, 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 wait. So if I activate those doors now, it's the same thing. But is magic still real? Oh, wait, wait. I need to make a door somewhere where I don't like immediately die. Mm, say I make a door. Oh, I cannot use that door now. Oh shit, I died. Okay. I can't get back there. Um, okay, I can back get get back here. So, ah, but I'm stuck there anyway. Trying to figure out if that door actually makes. Oh, iPhone actually makes me. Hmm. Okay, let's try this way now. Activate it. Drop down. Oh, and magic is still actually there. In this bizarre world as well. Okay. <laughs> it's 
cool. Whoa! Now I fell to my death again. I'm just gonna die here. Let's just quickly end this. Right. So that's what magic does. Let's actually disable the doors for now. Because I do not see how that actually helps me. Um, so I go set doors to false. Okay, doors false. Um, what else was there? So we got the magic. Well, actually, let's use the magic for now and try to get up there, for example. Um, which is over to the other side. See if I can do that. Okay. So let's see if I can kind of do... Ah, shit, that didn't work. Okay, all right, okay. So magic is... Isn't that useful right now, I would assume. What if we do... Okay. So set magic false. Magic is false. Uh, let's see what else we had there. I, I remember those bombs, but there's also ghosts, right? Or is it ghost? So let's see. Help set. And uh, come on, come on. So that is waterfalls, escalators. Fairy, magic, ghost, doors, warp. I'm curious about warp. Set warp true. Warp is true. Exit. Right, the world looks similar. Oh. Right. Um, but I cannot really. Right. Where are we? Oh. So we go to a random place. That's pretty cool. There's a terminal up there, if I could actually get there. Or does it just rearrange the level? That's interesting. So I cannot really go anywhere from here. So let's warp again. It's pretty cool. It looks guys, cool animation. And warp out. I'm in the same place. What if I go? Oh, so warp allows you to go to kind of a secret area in there. Maybe. So if what if I warp here? So I can just go. Oh, this this stuff is now crazy. Okay, it's going. Okay, it's gone. Um, and if I die, I get back here. And if I warp here, I am still here. If I warp again, I'm still here. If I warp again, I'm still here. And there's more and more of these things. So if I keep doing this, for example... Oh yeah, by the way, if you have like epilepsy or something, you should probably not watch this. So if I keep doing this... Go nuts on the A, a button. Um, so I got all this stuff, but uh, oh, oh, that was an interesting mechanic. He makes you jump over here. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, so we're here now. Kyle, I am loving your game. Uh, well done. Uh, so just jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here, and here. Oh, shit, what the hell is that? Oh, I'm gonna die probably if I get there, but there's a, a sexy look looking door, and this is what, a, a, a thing, I don't know what that is. Um, I wish I got here with my grapple thing, but okay, let's try it and walk this, because maybe it will throw me over. Oh, no, it didn't. But what if I do that? Again, I apologize to everyone who has, you know, epileptic problems stuff. So... Whoa, that's not... Oh, shit, I'm in hell again. Oh, fuck. Oh, you did suck. And my warp doesn't work anymore because I fell off the map. Okay, it is. Oh, God, I'm back here after all. All the warping? Alright. Uh, no, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to go somewhere else, dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if I go here... Ah, I see. That's how I got over there. Because I moved sli Oh, shit. Now I'm stuck in the wall. 
Uh, right, so you can move like minimal distance. That's really, really cool. And I just keep dying now. Um, okay. And then I did this. Which is... Crazy warping. Okay, um... So that should be... Oh, okay, we're here again. Um, hmm. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so we managed to get to the computer, so it means we can unlock this area now. Awesome. So we go in here and see what where we can travel, because this means this is now permanently unlocked. When we and next time I return to the game, uh, it's going to be available. So, uh, help travel. Uh, come on, type it out. Okay, so we get water house as well. Cool. So that's an area unlocked. And I think this is in just enough for this um, fake review that I just did in front of your eyes. I really, really enjoy this game. I'm going to play more of it. And I recommend you do too. There should be a link to either the game's website or one of the shops where you can buy it. There's, I think, two places you can buy it. There is also a um, PDF, 20-page PDF sort of um, companion piece that comes with the game, which I haven't bought yet, and I have no idea what's in it. The uh, game itself costs $7, and I think the PDF is extra 3 um, or like $4 if you buy it separately or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's apparently, like I said, companion piece. I'm not sure what's in it. Maybe, you know, I'll find out very soon. Maybe you'll find out before I do. But anyway, all the links are should be there. This is Fjord. Fjord? Fjords. Jesus, I forgot. Is this plural? Wait, I know. I know how to check this. Boom! Fjords, plural. Um, so, yeah, Fjords by Kyle. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's by Kyle. I forgot his last name. Anyway, guys, cool game. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Rhymergarten? I think it's Rhymergarten. Okay, bye.